Hey everyone, it's James Austin Flight Flightman. Welcome back to Pokemon Violet. And this is my first ever playthrough of Pokemon Violet. Let's not waste any more time. Let's head straight to the Academy. Who are you guys supposed Don't you get it? If you join Team Star, you can shine as bright as anybody. Oh. Oh, who are you? Seriously, what's with you? Don't you want to burn bright with awesome friends like us? Not really. Look, we've got a quota we're supposed to fill for new members, so just sign up already. Hey, you leave your hand- Uh, I'd rather not help her out. What do you- What do you sick little punks want? Huh? You want in on this too? If you're here to sign up, we'll get you next. We're, we nearly got this one to bag. We're Team Star, kid. We burn so bright it hurts to look at us. Well, you knew that, right? No. Ugh, another ignorant little nobody. Here, I found a part of Team Star and still get no respect. I work my way up the ranks. Hey, we just can't let someone like this slide. The honor of our team's on the line, so we got no real choice but to bow, yeah? That's true. You keep watching that little four eyes over there. Hey Francine, don't call me that, you sick little punk! FYI, that is Team Star. They're... They're nasty little pricks. Seriously, you call me a four-eyed weirdo? It's like those characters are tough customers in, Ar when they, in that one Arthur episode when they called Arthur four eyes just because he needed glasses. I should have forgot. Absolutely no one remembers Arthur. <laughs> this is for calling me a four-eyed weirdo, you sick little punk! Alright. Yes. Alright. So charge. The user becomes charged with the power of the new electric type moves. Um, let's get rid of growl. I don't need it anymore. How come I'm the one seeing stars? So, you. Blackhawk, you're gonna fight me next? Ugh, what's a nobody like you so good at battling anyway? That's just not right. No way, he beat you? Is that gonna battle this kid outside some higher up team star's ranks? Peril Bueno, what do you think you're doing? I came just in time to Mona. Ugh, it's that student council dweeb. She's gonna report so we don't book it. I can't believe you, Jay. You don't have to go find random spells. You'll have all the battles you ever need. With me. It was those Team Star Punks. Wait, they hit the five of you? Well, I read that way wrong, sorry. I get it now. You two have got Team Star written all over you for sure. I bet you were trying to pressure people to sign up again, weren't you? Uh, uh, hi, we were not doing that. You were, you sick little punks. Well, that explains it. As head of student council, stopping this type of nonsense would already be my job. This is also a perfect chance for you to try my amazing and ultra gift to you. Am I gonna- <gasps> Yes! You attain the terror orb! You put the terror in your bag's key items pocket. An orb that holds within the power to crystallize. When it is charged with energy, it can be used to cause Pokemon to terrestrialize. This terror orb, you can terrestrialize your Pokemon during battle. Let's see, after it terrestrializes, I'm pretty sure your Flake Coco will be... a fire type. Exactly. Normally, you've got to take special classes to be able to get one of those terror orbs, but I put in a good word for you. Ah, thanks, Simona. Now, time to give a whirl. You want to use it faster in battle than if I just explain it to you. Wait, what? You want this kid to practice wailing on us for this terror Pokemon? Is that it? Got a problem? You want to battle me instead? Um, never mind, I'll take my chances with the new kid. Take your places, and battle! I'll never join Team Star, ever. 
I will admit, they look pretty cool, though, I'm not gonna lie. Much better than the last villain I've seen, which was just pretty much the version of Eminem's Stan in video game form. Here in the Paldia region, Pokemon can crystallize through a strange phenomenon. They call this terrastalizing. You can terrastalize your Pokemon by selecting the Terrastalize button in battle. When a Pokemon terrastalizes, its type changes to its Terra type. Moves of the same type as this Terra type will become much more powerful than usual. After terrastalizing Pokemon once, you won't be able to terrastalize a Pokemon again until you heal up a Pokemon Center. So use this strategy wisely to seize your victory in battles. Now, I don't really terrastalize a lot, so. I'm just gonna terrastalize now and just use Ember. See how this thing works. By the power of this Terra Orb, terrastalize! Flare! Oh yeah! That is so cool, he's got... It's like he's got Lumiere on top of his head. <laughs> I love terrestrializing! Bye, Donald Trump! <laughs> Alright. Oh, my burn's so bright. Alright, now are you guys gonna leave me alone, or what? Oh my god, it's getting a little cold out here. Nice, James. Pull off terrestrializing, no problem. Moves your Pokemon's Terra type will hit even harder when it's terrestrialized, you know. Sometimes you'll find Pokemon whose Terra type is totally different from its usual type. That difference can open up your strategic options. Gotta change your Terra Orb at a Pokemon Center after every use by healing your team up, though. I go. Well, I'll be on my merry way then, yeah? Uh, hasta la vista! <laughs> Me too, hasta la vista! I'm not gonna put up with their shenanigans. So yeah, Team Star is basically a group of students that like to kick up trouble. They hardly ever show up to class, and when they get scared in groups, they're a real headache. Even the teachers don't know what to do with them, for what I hear. Um, excuse me. Yes, ma'am. I, uh, I just... well, thanks. And who are you supposed to be? So yeah, uh, see you around. Who's she? Oh, uh, look at you, James. Already becoming a big hero around campus. I don't think I've seen that girl around. Maybe she's a new transfer, like you. That Eevee bag, though. Love that fluff. Anyway, seems like the trouble's out, so you better book it up to school. Get ready to climb the worst staircase in the world. You want to see the worst staircase in the world? I had a... one time at Stewart Castle? I had... what time was student council during high school? I had to climb up... Like, to the 15th floor using the stairs of one London place for a fundraiser. I can't remember the charity's name, but... I had to walk up... 16 really long flights of stairs. I gotta use the elevator in the end. And also... My life in student council wasn't long, but I enjoyed it while it lasts. I was the, uh, treasurer. Here we are, James. Welcome to Uva Academy. Oh my god, it looks like Western University. This here's the entrance hall. You can sign up for all kinds of classes at the desk behind me, and those halls out to the sides lead to all different parts of the school. It's totally going to have to let loose and battle in here, but for some reason, they banned Pokemon battling in the main entrance. Hey, I can live with that. Master James, Miss Demona. How did you find your first school commute? We had a blast. I imagine Miss Demona's high spirits helped with that. She's a true asset to our fine academy. Not that I was expecting less from our champion ranked student council president. Reliable as ever, Miss Nimona. Well, I know how to look after my friends, right, James? Oh, but speaking of which, we saw some of those Team Star kids in town, Director. You did? Where? It was down from the series of friend gates. They were hassling with this kill with an Eevee backpack. That's quite the news. Are you still we found out there? Actually, James flexed on him and ran him off. You don't say! Of course, it's a fine thing to try to help a fellow student, Master James. You might wish to show a bit of restraint as you find your feet here at our academy. And Miss Nimona, do remember that the school staff is here to resolve any such troubles. Uh, right. Yes, sir, Director. The child for back, is it? I suppose that might have been Miss Penny. I'm relieved to hear she's come to class, at least. Ah, and Miss Nimona, if you'd be so good, you do report to Mr. Jacques about this Team Star business. 
As your homeroom teacher, you should be kept apprised of all such goings. You got it, sir! Ah, uh, but look at the time. You two have better hurry along. Classes will be starting soon. We're in class 1A, James. Come on, I'll show you the way. Man. This is probably the most interesting thing I've ever done. Ah, yes, how I miss Medway. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Jacques. Hello, hello, everyone. We had some exciting news this morning. Who wants to hear it? Alright, what do we got? I suppose I should have told you soon, but we have a new little friend joining our happy homeroom as of today. I wonder what they'll be like. Alright, you can come on in. Could I trouble you for a few words introducing yourself? Sure, I'm James. Did you hear that? He seems super friendly and fun. Looks like everyone's eager to get to know you, James. Alright then, who wants me first to ask our friend a new question? Go ahead, uh, kid in the front. What's your favorite about Pokemon? Everything! <laughs> really awesome, I'm totally the same. Does anyone else have a question for a new classmate? Go ahead, Nimona. <laughs> what do you hope to get out of it? This is something, right? Hmm. I don't actually know. Fair, I get it. The possibilities are endless, right? Who can decide? Well, thank you for telling us a bit about yourself, James. I'm Mr. Jacques. I teach biology here at the Academy, and I'm also your homeroom teacher. Thank you, Jacques! <laughs> That's your seat. Second row from the front. Alright, you grab my ragamuffins. Be nice and friendly to our new classmate. We will, Mr. Jacques. Man, I really gotta start rewatching the Harry Potter films. They're really fun. Get to know the Academy Camps and Explore a bit on your own. What? Okay. So we got um, biology, we got math, and we have a uh, <laughs> man. Yeah, I see there's a lot of folks here at the Academy, so uh. That's fine, I can. I, I don't need her right now. Ah, you're welcome, sir. Is there anything else I need to talk to you, or...? You can now move around the school. Try trying to place on the map where you can see that someone might be hanging around. Try to discover something. Now choose location and start exploring. Alright. Wow, that's nice. Alright, so I want to actually head to the... So I want to head to the cat to see what's going on down there. Okay. Hope your studies are going okay. What do you have today? Well, what do you got? Five alarm, peanut butter, pickle, tail sauce, sandwich. I'll take the egg sandwich. I'll pick up my cash. Okay. That's a pretty nice animation there. <laughs> I know a lot of folks on the internet really don't like the animation, but you know what? I'm gonna be honest. I like these anim- I kinda like the animations because Pokemon's just meant to be- Meant to be a game anyone can enjoy. So, let's head to the staff room, see what's going on down there. I'm just gonna let them chat and see what's going on. Very well, Chinese Nimona. I trust you to handle this in my stead. Sure thing, you can count me. In fact, I bet this is gonna be fun. I'm glad to hear it. Good day, then. Good evening. Oh, pardon me. Uh, who is that or do I not want to know? Oh, James, hey! Who was that? Oh, Pete, you're interested, huh? That lady is, well, Decor la Primera. She's strong. She can do pretty much anything. She's got cool practically coming out of her ears. She's basically everything I want to be, or that any Pokemon trainer would want to be. Really? Oh, it reminds me. Remember in Homer when I asked you what your dream is? If you're still trying to decide what it is what you're looking for, I've got an idea for you. Just try to reach champion rank like me. 
Hmm. Yeah, so I'm not really sure about that. Uh, but tell yours is there to use. Hear me out. The trainers reach champion rank are the ones who raise their Pokemon really strong. They're pro tier battlers. They their moves keep crowds absolutely on the edge of their seats. You have to bring yourself to the Pokemon League to officially get the title of champion. And to do that, you have to do more than just take classes here. You gotta take on eight Pokemon gyms and win so you can collect their gym badges. Once you know all that, what's left is a special test: the champion assessment. And once you pass that, that long last you'll be a champion. It's every Pokemon trainer's dream, the coolest cell anyone could ever hope to get. Not to brag or anything. I reached Jamie right during our last treasure hunt, you know. Oh, the treasure hunt is a special independent project study thing we've got here. Should happen soon. Our last one started not long after the beginning of this school year. It's great. You get to leave school to go have an adventure and learn however you want. <laughs> I guess you could say my journey to becoming a champion was a treasure I found. Maybe? I don't know if yeah, that's the answer I'm looking for. Anyway, I've got a feeling I'd be able to get even stronger if you and I are both working at it. Let me go ahead and save the gym's locations in your map in case you decide to go for it. Thank you, Nimona! You got along just fine. So those, if I'm challenging the gym, is where I need to go. Victory Road. Hmm. Give it this some thought. Okay. Is there anything else in here I need to do, or can we just head back? Oh, I don't want to use a Poke Portal. Um, how do I use my... No, th that's not what I want. Um, how do I bring my... How do I bring my phone up? Okay. Go. Oh. Let's see, um... How do I got the Rotom phone again? I'm gonna head back to the homeroom, see what happens. Alright, um... Oh! I haven't seen him before. Wow, Vault Pokemon are huge! You're not wrong! <laughs> Can I be honest? Sometimes I'm a little surprised. When I see people in person, I'm all, and I'm shocked that I'm usually taller than they are. I think I'm probably taller than most people here. Oh, and what can I do for you? Oh, hey, so we meet again. You remember me, right? Oh, from the lighthouse. Yeah, exactly. That's my little old buddy. Got a mind like a silk trap, eh? Yep. No need to tell me your name, James, right? Whole school seems to be talking about you. The new kid showed up with the president of the student council. <laughs> I normally wouldn't even bother showing up for class, but I came all the way to school today just to talk with you. Our new celebrity. A new what? I only have 147 followers. As of filming this. You've got to help me out so I can finally make my dream a reality. What's the streams first? Tell me about it. Got your interest, have I? Come on, hear all about my dream, right? Well, this might come as a surprise, but fact is, I'm all about that picnic life, the great outdoors, the perfectly prepared sandwiches, all of it. Not half bad at cooking either, I can tell you. For now, I'm researching new recipes that help Pokemon feel better. Real health food, see? I found this book the other day, it had a section about these Herba Mystica things. They say there's some kind of special herbs that heal up any Pokemon as soon as it eats them. Now, there are a total of five different types of Herba Mystica based on what I read. Just taking a little... Look of them once they've been powdered will get your blood flowing, provide nutrients, prevent aging, it'll even boost the immune system. They certainly like they're the real deal. All I've out here in Paldea and we're to boot. Awesome, can you ship some over to Canada, please? 
But as Book says here, they're all guarded by Titan Pokemon, meaning that it's going to be pretty tough to try to grab even a few sprints. Because see, Titans are, well, I think they've got to be things like this. As we descend further into Area Zero, we began to catch glimpses of mysterious Pokemon. Though we wondered if these compact, cruel beasts were any Pokemon at all, one of our team suffered a brutal blow from such a beast and was mortally wounded, forcing us to retreat for a time. A member of the survey team captured this photograph by chance. I noticed a passing resemblance to the Pokemon known as Donphan, yet differences such as its texture and the way it moves suggest it is biologically separate to say nothing of its tread of iron. I really want to get those herbs for myself, but I'm not very good at Pokemon battles. I don't have any friends with strong Pokemon, so long me in hand either. And I never heard here the end of it if I want to that student council girl. But here you waltz up. You gotta help me out with this. You'd be perfect. Uh, yeah. No, wait, I don't need an answer yet. I'll just register places where it seems there might be Titans and your map app for you. Okay. Titans Lars has been added to your map app. Half of Legends. Hmm. I like the sound of that. Let's do a bit and we can get more into the details later. And in the meantime, take this. A little gift for listening and all. Seen a bag of Stardust. What does Stardust do? Lo lovely red sand that flows between your fingers with a loose, silky feel. It can be sold at a low price to shops. Give the idea some serious thought, please. Okay. Now, last thing I want to check. Okay. That's the kitchen. It's off limits. Oh, oh! What is it? This is James, correct? I have to... Your smartphone, so I can talk to you. If you don't mind. I'm sorry, who are you? My name's Cassiopeia, but never mind that. It's you I want to talk about. I hear you're a trainer with serious potential. If that description is accurate, there's something I'd like to ask of you. Tell me, James. You know what I'm saying, right? Oh, yeah. Great. I appreciate you being up front here. James and I was a group of trouble makers for my son. I can't be soon, so walk back. How long ago was this? 1977? They caused headaches for the school and tried to bring other students down to their level. And I refused to sit idly by and let them get away with it. So I've come up with a plan to bring out Team Star and force them to disband for good. I call it Operation Starfall. But I'll need abilities to carry out this operation, and I'd like you to be one of them. Yes, I'll do it. No need to reply in a second. We can discuss the details some other time. Till then, I leave you to it. Bye. Ah, Master James. Please do try to keep your voice down if you're making calls in school, won't you? Oh, so sorry, Clavel. <laughs> I'll be more... Of course, sir. Of course, sir. You don't want anyone else over here any personal information, after all. Yeah, that... Yeah, that's the thing about... Yeah, that's the thing when I work from home. Honestly, there's so many things you need to be careful about in this day and age. Yeah. On you go, then, young man. Oh god, I always am worried my parents are gonna fly this YouTube channel and then they're gonna shut it down. Like more like Team Star, you say? <laughs> Alright. Oh, call the Master James to the director's office, please. Once again, Master James to the director's office, please. All right, where's the direct? Okay, where's the director's office? It's gotta be around here somewhere. Excuse me, is this a director's office? Okay. <laughs> And next time, please do not call me on that. You freaked me out for a sec. Ah, oh, man. Thanks for coming, Master James. Have you been enjoying your time here at Uga Academy? Oh, yeah. That is most wonderful to hear. 
So, what is it you'd like to tell me, sir? Now, you may be wondering why we cannot have simply conserved earlier in the cafeteria. But let me assure you, there is a reason why I asked you to meet here in my office. It seems that a friend of mine has a rather serious matter they would like to discuss with you. Go ahead. Tell me, who are they? I don't know, I'm afraid they aren't actually here in this room with us. One moment, please. Just allow me to connect this. Hmm, who could they be? Mm. Hello, James. It's nice to meet you. My name is Professor Troll. I carry out Pokemon research within the Great Crater of Paldea, a site known as Area Zero. The professor is, in fact, a graduate of our Fight Academy, as well as a splendid researcher. Well, allow me to get straight to the point. James, do an ID number 805C393. If you guys want to connect with me online, that's my, in this game, that's my ID number. You are the student who travels with the unusual Pokemon Mirai, then. Is that correct? Yes, I am. Thank you. I appreciate that you were honest in confirming the facts. Yes, I never lie. I don't, my parents do not put up with lying. I don't know, not that I, I do not mean to offend you, but I wish to ask for your assistance. Assistance? Oh, how good to see that you are. Well, it has been quite a while since we last met. Mayor Item was once in my care, you see. This Pokeball was originally mine. I assume you received it from a young man called Arben. I am no longer in a position to be able to manage that Pokemon myself. This is what I ask of you. Will you continue looking after Miraidon on my behalf? Yes, I will. I do appreciate your agreement. I'll keep him in good care. Miraidon has been greatly weakened and is currently incapable of battle. It can, however, take form of a, a specialized form ability. In all likelihood, it will require some time to fully regain the capabilities it once had. I will provide you with my contact information. If you will please get up your phone. Yep. I'll be in regular contact going forward to keep tabs on your status. Okay. Until then. Mm. <laughs> Alright, now will you please devolve back in your Pokemon? Could this Pokemon have its origins within Area Zero? Hero, don't tell me you actually did it. Oh no. Well, it seems that the professor is asking quite the favor of you. But of course, the Academy is always here to support you in any way that we are able. I do hope you'll continue to enjoy your school life together with me right on. Okay, we're gonna finish it right here. And then next episode, we're gonna see just what is in store for us at the school. I will catch you guys all in the next episode. See you next time.